Yes. So now I am uh, demonstrating uh, the brachial plexus block. So before that I will demonstrate some of the basic anatomy. So this is the external cleidomastoid. This is the clavicle here. So I am marking the clavicle. I will mark each and everything. So the clavicle. This is the external end. This is the acromial end of the clavicle. And this is the external cleidomastoid. Yes. Now there are two hands. One is the external and second the clavicular head. So I will mark. Yes, you can see it. So I will mark the two head of the external glidomastoid. What have it? Yes, yes. So this is external glidomastoid. Now just lift. Now here, if I put my finger, index finger over the external glidomastoid, the clavicle head of the external glidomastoid, and roll it laterally. Roll it laterally. I can feel a prominent, prominent muscle. So the muscle is just lateral to the lateral border of external glidomastoid is scalenus anticus. This is now this is scalenus muscle. Scalenus anticus. Thus, just lateral to this, there is another muscle, and there is a groove also. So this is the groove here. And another muscle is scalenus medius. This is scalenus anticus. This is sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay. Now, ask the patient to lift the head. Serotopita. Now here, the this sternocleidomastoid is quite prominent. So leave it as such. Leave it. Tila chhodo bitte. Now. In the interscalenic cleft, that's the cleft between the scalenus anticus and scalenus medius. This is the cleft here. If you roll your finger down, you can notice a small muscle. So this is the inferior value of omohyde. Just mark it. This is the inferior value of omohyde. Now, cleft is continuous because this interscalenic cleft is divided into two by stern, by inferior value of omohyde. So this is the upper triangle. This is upper triangle means above the omohyde. This is the upper triangle and this is the lower part of the interscalenic cleft. You can inject the local anesthetic solution in the upper part of the interscalenic cleft or if this is lower down you can inject in upper part if it is high up you can also inject the la or local anesthesia below the inferior value of omohyde so there are two approaches above the external above the omohyde or below the omohyde so now i am repeating again this is the clavicle here this is the external cleidomastoid this is the external head this is the clavicular head and if you roll your finger lateral to the external cleidomastoid there is a scalenus anticus muscle and if further you roll your finger laterally you will feel a dip that is the interscalenic cleft and lateral to this is external scalenus medius muscle so now you roll your finger in the interscalenic cleft you will notice that there is some muscle crossing this triangle or cleft is the inferior value of omohyde so this cleft is divided into two above the omohyde below the omohyde so you can inject local association here and this will block the brachial plexus so this is the simplest method to block the brachial plexus. Now the posture, just put a small pillow underneath the shoulder and a ring and ask the patient to turn the head a little on the opposite side. Now I am marking the, the entry point here. So I am marking with a red circle. So this is the point of entry of the needle. This is the point of entry of the needle. You can also inject the local anesthetic solution below the inferior value of homohyde. So this is the entry point and this, this is the inferior value of homohyde. So I am marking this thing. And I am applying a beta din lotion here. Take sui lagi ki choti si. Now put the 
फिंगर इन दी इंटर स्कैनल क्लैफ्ट ही है सिर उठाओ बेटे थोड़ा सा रख लो नाउ उठाओ नाउ यू कैन नोटिस दी एक्सटर्नल क्लीडो सॉरी यू एक्सटर्नल क्लीडो मेस्ट्राइड एंड इन्फियर वैल्यू ऑफ ओमोहाइड एवरी थिंग इज क्वाइट विजिबल दिस स्कैलनस एंटिकस स्कैलनस मीडियस एंड द क्लैफ्ट इज देयर रख लो बेटा नाउ फ्रॉम हियर इंसर्ट दी नीडल and be very gentle and aspirate then inject aspirate and then inject slowly advance the needle aspirate and then inject. stabilize the syringe yes always aspirate and then inject slowly advance the needle in the same interscanly cleft always keep watch on pulse i have taken 20 ml of local anesthetic solution that contain 10 ml gyalocan with ethylene and the remaining 0.5% 10 ml BPV cane. Now you can notice little bellowing there in the seat. Always keep watch on the pulse. If there is any accidental intravascular injection, the pulse immediately rises. There is sudden tachycardia. So be very gentle. I am never try to touch the plexus seat. So I don't want to. elicit any paresthesia but i always remains in the seat inject and create a space by the local anesthetic solution and gradually now i have inserted the whole length of the needle inside i have taken 1 and 1/2 inch long 21 gauge needle now syringe direction is toward the low of the pinna here low of the pinna. so this direction there is no resistance in during injection the free flow is there you can notice the value of the seat rotate the needle in so many planes aspirate and then inject aspirate and then inject so this is the method i used to use in brachial plexus so this is my own technique of brachial plexus block now the block is complete just press this area and massage press and massage just apply pressure here and then massage this area so that this local anesthetic solution it just spreads in downward directions so this is the complete brachial block